So, Diesel, my security doggy, appeared in some of my other videos. And I figured I'd give an update. Diesel has been in foster care now for probably just under a year. So, he's an outdoor doggy. He's gotten acclimated to, to being out outside. Of course, he has shade and and water and everything. I was hoping that I would get him home a lot sooner. Um, I managed to score this extra large dog pool, which he has already stolen the box to. At the end of last season, I was working at a big box pet store and I, I got it for stupid cheap, so it's the extra large doggy pool, and we're going to be setting that up for him today. But I figure Diesel the Destroyer has a story, of course, and I want to take the time to tell it so that you spay and neuter your animals, hopefully. Diesel came from a house that had roughly, allegedly, 13 dogs in it. Most of which, when I picked him up, sounded like yappy little ankle biters. And he could not run away fast enough um, from that environment. Sadly, his parents showed up at the big box pet store that I used to work at. And begged, absolutely begged, for me to take Diesel because he was going to be taken to animal control. And... With dogs like him that are really, really large breed and kind of look scary or look like they could be security dogs, they tend to get put down. Just do not pass go. Do not collect $200. They euthanize them. And even though he's got some, some high energy issues, he still needs to be neutered, which is why he is here in foster care which is very secured, so he can't get anybody knocked up or break out. That That is in the works. And the home that he came for, his pet parents absolutely begged, absolutely begged for someone to take him. So I took him home, and he stayed with me for a little while. And that's a lot of dog to have in a pretty small trailer so right now I am saving to get a perimeter set up and also get him neutered first is going to come the perimeter so I can at least get him home because he's he's going to be a real asset in terms of security out where I live is very rural and I'm on I'm on acreage so I certainly am gonna gonna be needing his help with keeping undesirables away and he's very much an alpha boy, which I already have a male alpha, so I've got to keep them pretty strictly separate. They can handle each other for shorter periods of time, but there's really not a whole lot of good chemistry or feelings there. Um, so I have to supervise the two of them pretty closely. But yeah, so I saved Diesel's life, and he's getting by here. I, I barter in exchange for my friend to watch him and feed him and for him to stay here. I do house cleaning for free for that. And I also volunteer here at the Wolf Rescue. So I'm glad that Diesel was not put down. Um, I'm glad he didn't end up hit on the interstate. An awful lot of animals do. And it's funny because I work with this woman now at a different place at a different retail store and as penitent and desperate as her and her boyfriend at the time were she is now all happy and excited that her idiot mother and her idiot aunt got two dogs together I guess her aunt her mother's sister insisted on bringing the dog over and got her mom's dog who was not fixed knocked up so you know there's it the stupid apple doesn't fall too far from the stupid tree. Um, it is angering, honestly, to see how happy she is about the new litter of puppies that 
are probably going to end up at least one or two of them not having homes and being put out in the desert or put out on the side of the road. And that's a horrible thing to be happy and excited about. I just, I don't know. I don't understand people. Um, let's not make more of them. <laughs> anyway, Diesel's going to have a pool. As of today, it's starting to get hot. His coat has grown in a lot thicker because he's been outside all winter. And I cleared some ground and raked away the little mesquite pods over here. So we're going to come back when it's all set up and you can watch him frolic in it. <laughs> 